There's an ever-growing demand for IT technicians, and CompTIA A Plus certification is what gets most of them into work. Without a constant influx of CompTIA trained PC and network support staff, industry in the UK could well be brought to its knees. Now, there are four specialised areas of training in the full CompTIA A Plus syllabus, of which you'll need to pass two to gain your A Plus certification. But only studying two of the four specialities could leave gaps in your knowledge. Try to cover all four, this will give you the edge in your working environment. CompTIA A Plus on its own will give you the ability to fix and repair standalone computers, ones that are most often not part of a network, which means the home or the small business market. If you'd like to be fixing and supporting networks, you'll need to add CompTIA Network Plus. You might also consider the Microsoft certifications, such as MCSA or MCSE, as you'll need a deeper understanding of how networks work. One question that often comes up is why should we get commercial certification rather than traditional academic qualifications that you get through schools, colleges or universities? Well, essentially industry recognises that gaining the proper accreditation from the likes of Microsoft, CompTIA, Cisco or Adobe is far more effective and specialised, saving both time and money. Commercial certification concentrates on the actual skills that are required, together with an appropriate level of background knowledge, rather than going into the depths of background detail that academic courses can often get bogged down in. The bottom line is, recognised IT certification provides exactly what an employer needs. It says what you do in the title. For example, the Microsoft Certified Professional Qualification in Windows XP Administration and Configuration. So, an employer just needs to identify exactly what they need and what certifications will fulfil that need, which of course makes it much simpler for them, and that's why they prefer it. Take a good look at the certifications that you're considering. Make sure they're all current and commercially required. Don't bother with courses that lead to unknown in-house type certificates. Only the fully recognised accreditations from the major players like Microsoft, CompTIA, Adobe and Cisco are really going to mean anything to employers.